Hello guys, DreamWorks Animation has dropped the teaser trailer of live action movie How to Train Your Dragon and yes, Hiccup and Toothless are back. If you have already watched the How to Train Your Dragon series, most likely it's the same copy but in live action. In this video, I'll be breaking down who is Toothless. As we all know, Toothless is a dragon belonging to Night Fury species of dragons which is considered to be one of the most mysterious and fearsome. No one knew what it looked like until Hiccup befriended Toothless and also Jon Snow. Oh. All you need to do is leap on this mark when I say ah! No, 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 no. The Night Fury are medium built with jet black scales covering their body. Night Furies also possess retractable teeth, that's how he got his name Toothless. Unlike most dragons who blows fire, Night Fury shoots plasma blasts from their mouth. They are highly intelligent, loyal and fiercely protective of those they care about. Like mentioned previously, if you have watched the series, you will know Hiccup is Toothless rider and best friend and also mutual prosthetics connect them like no other. Hiccup's mother Valka, who knows dragons very well, bond really well with uh, Toothless and in contrast to that, Hiccup's father Stoic and Toothless does not get along very well at the start of the series. Throughout the franchise, Toothless and Stormfly share a very close friendship with each other. As a matter of fact, it is because Stormfly's rider is Hiccup's love interest Astrid. Coming back to abilities as mentioned before, the Night Fury's burst are purple colored flames composed of ionized oxyacetylene. This kind of blast explodes directly upon impact. One of the special thing of this blast is that it can be fired with pinpoint accuracy. It can also be reflected off surfaces and they can have a short limit up to 15 shots which implies they can recharge their blast very quickly. One of the main types of attacks by Night Fury is dive bombing which Toothless used it against Red Dead during the first movie. Strength and combat wise Night Fury can carry a load of 400 pounds. He can use his tail to whip other opponents and his wing is fireproof and can withstand lava blast. One of the abilities is the stealth due to its jet black color and dark scales which makes it blend perfectly at night, dark areas and dark clouds. A special ability called Cloaking is where the Night Furies absorb lightning from the sky to encase themselves in lightning. Talking about speed, Night Furies are among the fastest known dragons which is known to break the sound barrier. With this ability, Toothless is able to dodge many blasts from other dragons, arrows and catapults. Night Furies also can use the claws to climb any terrains and also can flex on command. They can have uncanny sense of hearing where they can hear long distances. Their large eyes gives excellent vision to see through fog or thick clouds. Their sense of smell can track people. Character wise they are extremely intelligent surpassing nearly all known dragon species. They can understand emotions of humans and can trick human beings also. Night Furies can swim and they can swim at a high speed and they can also stay underwater for quite a while. Finally the Alpha Mode is the ability which the Night Fury has where it spines the reach between its eyes, the inside of its mouth, nose glow with translucent blue reminiscent of the bluish plasma blast which fires. Like all other animals or human beings, Night Fury also has its weakness which are the dragon root arrow, strong winds, cold temperatures and its dependence on its fins to fly and it also has a weakness to fly long distances. As the movie says how to train a dragon, actually it would be very difficult to train a night fury as they are reclusive and distrustful. Hiccup could train Toothless as uh, Toothless couldn't fly and the training this kind of dragon requires mutual respect and trust. And the good old method of strengthening a bond is by placing a hand on his snout which works best. Hiccup in the animation trains Toothless by giving him fish and fixing his saddle and tail fin with which they train to fly together. Toothless enemies in movies were really huge. 
10 times bigger than him and yet he is able to defeat them. In the first movie, Toothless fights Red Death and with the help of Hiccup manages to defeat uh, Red Death by igniting gas in the mouth, helping the Vikings and dragons to coexist. In the second movie, Toothless fights against Bewildered Beast, the mind control and ultimately defeats Drago and his beast becoming the new Alpha. I hope the live action movie brings the same excitement and emotional journey which Hiccup and Toothless took us through in the animated series.